So the Brooklyn Nets currently are the sixth seed in the East with a record of 35 and 28. After they traded both of their superstars in KD and Kyrie, I mean, everyone thought that the future for this team was pretty much gone. They traded all their picks in that James Harden trade a couple years back when he went to Brooklyn. And now looking at it, I mean, with him gone, with Kyrie gone, with KD gone, it's looking like a pretty horrible payoff. And especially with the James Harden and Ben Simmons swap last season, it's looking even worse now. So we're going to break down the Nets talking about their team overall and just the direction for this team. I think they definitely have a good future with what they did at the deadline, you know, bringing a guy like a Mikael Bridges, a guy like a Cam Johnson, both on his team. Uh, they definitely would be pretty much positives for the future and good building blocks. But I think they need a couple more things before they're really, they're really ready to contend. So we'll get into right now talking about the Brooklyn Nets and just breaking down where they can go from here. So firstly, I wanted to talk about the roster as a whole. So looking at the roster, I would say this is definitely a good... I would say borderline playoff slash play in team. I mean, they still have some good vets and Spencer Dinwiddie and Dorian Finney Smith, uh, both guys coming in from the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, Seth Curry being 32 and being a good spot up shooter. Uh, Nick Claxton and Mikhail Bridges both being some you know pretty young and pretty good pieces for this rebuild. Uh, obviously, Cam Johnson too, but they definitely have a lot of good, I would say, a lot of good tradable assets on the team, but also guys that can still play. Obviously, guys like Ben Simmons, I mean, you're definitely going to be dealing with him uh, throughout the future. But I mean, I will talk about that later on in the video. So uh, they do have a good mix of just some young pieces. You know, Cam Thomas, he's been pretty good. Uh, Darren Sharp also has a pretty good potential to become a good center in this league. But uh, they also have some good pieces to the point where they can still try to contend this season. Uh, I mean, might as well. They're the sixth seed and they don't have their pick this year. Uh, I believe Houston. No, not Houston. Or I think it might be a swap. It, yeah, it should be a swap for this year. So either way, if the Brooklyn Nets, you know, don't make the playoffs and they get a worse pick than the Rockets, they can still swap. So, I mean, might as well go out all out this season and just try to contend with the pieces you have right now. And I think it could be a pretty good idea. So honestly, they don't really have a legit star that can lead this team. But I mean, after clearing house this deadline, I think they can make a huge splash in the offseason. Obviously, they're paying some pretty hefty money to guys like Ben Simmons, who... Uh, I definitely wouldn't say is pretty much deserving of that contract, but uh, regardless, they still have him on the books. Uh, they have guys like Cam Johnson, uh, Mikhail Bridges, who still, uh, they basically want some more money uh, for their expertise, which definitely makes more sense. I mean, there are definitely guys that uh, deserve more money. Guys like Nick Claxton too, definitely deserve some more money in there. I mean, I think Nick Claxton definitely might ask for some more money, but uh, even guys like Dorian Finney-Smith and Spencer Dinwiddie too, both guys on the books. So we'll see what happens with this team. They definitely have some tradable pieces, so they could either trade some pieces in the offseason or just, you know, gain some pieces, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, next, I wanted to talk about Cam Johnson and Mikael Bridges. So, uh, Mikael Bridges over the season, he's been on and off. I mean, I definitely thought uh, at the start of the season, he definitely was one of the more slower players to get into it, but uh, he definitely has been turning up recently and coming to the Brooklyn Nets has definitely helped him and his game improve overall. So, looking at his season stats overall, uh, 18 points per game around four rebounds and around four assists on around 47 from the field and 40 from three. Obviously, Mikhail Bridges, he's going to be a guy that's going to be playing some good defense while also being a good spot-up shooter, which is, is definitely one of the more valuable players in the league. I've, I've already said this before, but guys that can spot up, guys that can play defense, guys that can just do everything on the court that you need them to are pretty valuable in this league and just can fit into any system that you want them to. So with a good point guard, maybe like a Van Vliet, you know, kind of just throwing out a name out there that can be a guy you can look out for in the offseason. I feel like a guy like a Van Vliet on this team would definitely be pretty good. Uh, just a guy that can just lead this team and be the offensive initiator so i have guys like cam thomas or cam thomas yeah cam johnson and Mikhail bridges all on the wing or on the perimeter and you know they can just be guys that can space the floors so even without you know an initiator like van vliet i think Mikhail bridges is definitely doing a lot of damage uh, looking at his stats overall with the brooklyn nets this season He's averaging around 23 points per game, which is pretty good. Around five rebounds and around three assists on four or 52 from the field and 47 from three in seven games. So, I mean, Mikel, he's definitely, you know, taking advantage of, you know, having a full system around him. And, you know, the guys like Cam Johnson too, I mean, he's taking full advantage. So uh, both these guys, especially Cam Johnson, I think he has a lot of potential to become a good uh, role player for this team too with the building blocks of the future. But uh, Cam Johnson, 15 points, four rebounds and around two assists on around 49 from the field and 43 from three. 
I think both these guys are going to be some huge building blocks for this rebuild, and I think they definitely should, you know, try to retain both of them in the future. I mean, Mikhail Bridges, he's around 26, and Cam Johnson's around 20 also 26 so uh both guys are going to be in the peak of their prime here pretty soon but uh, i think they definitely have some high ceilings to become some good role players for this team adding some more vets adding some more guys off the bench and i think this team's going to be pretty whole so there's some negatives about this team i mean the nets still have ben simmons under the books which is definitely going to be a huge issue for this team uh, obviously trading for him back last season uh, with the James Harden swap, like I said, but uh, I think that's definitely going to bite them in the butt. I mean, Simmons hasn't been too great this season. Uh, seven points, six rebounds, and six assists. Not really what you want from a former number one overall pick back in 2016. So yeah, his confidence is just shot down. It's definitely shot down. He's still, he's still, he's still a good defender. The problem with Simmons is that his confidence on offense is just not good. I remember one play, I think he was I think it was an open lane. He was playing with the Nets, and uh, it was an open lane. Passed it to Claxton, missed the open layup, and, you know, Claxton turned the ball over. If Ben Simmons can at least try to salvage some of his confidence on offense, I think he definitely would be a lot more better than he is right now. But, I mean, he's not looking like the best player overall right now for the Nets. So, hopefully he can turn around. I think he could definitely turn it around. Hopefully he can. I mean, I think it's probably just his trainers or something, but or even just his, his mindset overall. So... Yeah, hopefully Ben Simmons can at least try to salvage his career uh, here in Brooklyn, but uh, there really shouldn't be too much pressure on him. Uh, he has a team by himself, or he has a team uh, in a system where there's, there's going to be a lot more freedom, so I would say try to at least take some advantage in this where he gets some more free range on offense. So yeah, the Brooklyn Nets overall, they have a future. I mean, they obviously gave up all their picks through 2027, I want to say, uh, to the Houston Rockets back in 2020 when they traded for James Harden. So obviously they don't really have their own picks, but uh, they got picks from Phoenix. I think they got some picks from Dallas too. So uh, they got a good mixture of first round picks in there alongside some pretty good pieces. But yeah, I mean, they definitely have a future now, you know, with compared to Kyrie and KD, uh, with Kyrie's impending, you know, off season, if he was going to stay or leave, uh, with KD getting up there in age and being very injury prone. Uh, the future was definitely pretty dark for this team, but uh, bring in Cam Johnson, bring in Mikhail Bridges, and now you actually have some building blocks for the future. Uh, Nick Claxton's still there, Cam Thomas, Darren Sharp. So we'll see what happens with the Brooklyn Nets. I think, obviously, they have a future, but if they do try to contend, or even next season, if they still want to contend with this roster, they need to add some more pieces, some more vets, and even off the bench, they need some more bench depth that can really help them. Obviously, you know, Jack Vaughn, he's done a pretty good job for this team. And, you know, with the firing of Steve Nash this season, he's definitely, I would say, definitely has been pretty good for this team in the absence of Steve Nash. And, you know, even just becoming the head coach overall, I think he's done a pretty good job. So, yeah, you guys come in. What do you guys think about the Brooklyn Nets? Do you guys think they have some sort of future? Do you guys think they're going to make some moves in the offseason? I think they are. I mean, the franchise, <laughs> I would say the franchise hasn't been great in the last few seasons. But, you know, with this new look roster, I think they definitely could be in the market for some more pieces. So that's the end. I'm out.